What's up What's everyone? Up? <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. We just posted a vlog and we thought we better start this one so we can get back on a schedule. Yeah. Or like somewhat of a more consistent routine. I think we left some stuff out of the last vlog too. Like, I don't know if anybody cares, but we didn't share the pie or that. We forgot to share the pie. The dessert. And we didn't really show us making or trying the espresso martini. I know you I had know. it. But we didn't show it. And we've perfected it a little bit more. Yeah. We're going to make that again. The pie, it was like, I thought it was going to be more like a strawberry, like, cream thing. Yeah. I don't know why, because you freeze it. But it was more like a strawberry ice, ice cream. Yeah. Which and was good, but it was not what I was expecting. Same, but I don't like the texture of frozen fruit. So that was the reason why it wasn't yeah. my favorite. But the flavor was amazing. The so flavor next, was good. next time I think I'm gonna puree the strawberries and like have it a yeah. little bit creamier. Yeah, I was thinking it was gonna be like a strawberry mousse or something, but Which it wasn't. Maybe it can be if you don't freeze it for as long. Yeah. And the espresso martini though, that was good. So good. I think we only made one or two. And we made them for Zach's oh, sister yeah. and her husband. They came and they visited us. So uh, just to kind of catch you guys up, we've had a ton of family coming and visiting. We actually have family coming in on Thursday. So we're gonna try to film this week so we have some content yeah. to go up for you guys. But anyway, so back to the espresso martini. We're gonna make it again, maybe later this week. Show that tequila. Oh. Um, oh my gosh. So tell, you gotta tell the story too because it was just kind of bizarre. Yeah, we're, Obviously, we're from Oregon. Oh my gosh, we had that much. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, yeah, there was four of us. Obviously, we're from Oregon, so like whenever we would, used to when we go down to California or whatever, we'd pick up some like Kirkland yeah. tequila vodka. We drive down to Redding and like when we're visiting, and then we'd and you would bring like just buy all the alcohol you could. But so we we're talking about to my brother-in-law. And they were saying something about they got this Kirkland one that was super good. It almost tasted like it had vanilla in it. But they were like for their drinks and just drinking it. It was so good. Because we were making co cocktails. We were using fresh grapefruit. We made, a, we made a couple. Yeah, we made a couple different cocktails. So then he started bringing like, oh, if you see it at Costco, you need to get it. And I was like, oh, what is it? He's like, it's tequila. I don't know the name or anything. And I had this bottle from like six months ago and I pulled this out. He's like, that's the one. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> yeah, can you see that? I think you can. Yeah, oh yeah, you can see that. But it was just funny how he, he was just telling me this random one and I happened to have it. I think it was like 20 bucks or something and it's an Anejo. It is But I just so had it in the back. Good. I pulled it out and even I just had it. We made a, a margarita with it. But then I also just did uh, grapefruit juice, tequila, and a little rosemary on top. It was so good. So good. Basically, if you are making an espresso martini and you can get your hands on this, try it with this one. Yeah. It almost adds this like sweetness without, like you don't have to, especially if you're someone who doesn't like sweet drinks, you almost can get away without doing the simple Yeah, syrup. I did, like I did, like I said, I just did grapefruit juice in this. And it was good. It was good to just sip on. Yeah. But it was really good. We were very, very surprised by yeah. it, basically. It was just funny. I, like I said, I bought it just to have, I heard good things about it, but I just bought it. I didn't, it wasn't even open. And I bought it maybe six months ago. Yeah. And it was funny. Now I think I'll get a, probably another bottle. I, I know we have a lot, of, but yeah. just so we can stock up. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. So good. Anyway, so. For like, the price, too. It was, oh, yeah. Like for the price, said, 20. It was 20 bucks. Yes. Like sometimes, like, you can really find some good liquors or really anything without like paying for the name you know yeah. like i feel like sometimes just especially like celebrity tequilas we've been kind of like trying to educate ourselves more and like you know maybe buy like better quality it doesn't have to have like the name or anything like that but then also i'm big on like taste too like yeah just because it's a maybe not a preferred one if you like it, you like it's it. It's true. You like what you like. And drink like, whatever I, yeah. you like. I have friends too, they were making fun of someone for having like basically sweet sugar wine, like you know the box wine only, but it was like the sugary stuff. And they were making fun of her and I was like, no, drink what you want. Like yeah. if you taste it. That was actually really cute of you. I think we've talked about this before. It's the same thing with coffee. Like, you know, certain people are like, oh, if you add a drop of sugar, 
I think we've talked about this. Yeah, you yeah. ruin your coffee, but which I get, like, if that's your thing, but it's like, you're not drinking it, yeah. you know? It, and most times, like, coffee and cocktails, it's kind of like more of a pleasure type yeah. thing. So it's like, if you're drinking something that's just, that's not enjoyable. Yeah. So, like if if you like a light beer, you like a light beer. If you mm -hmm. like an IPA, you like that. If you like whiskey, yeah. you like that. Like totally. Your taste buds, everyone's different. Everyone's it's like, different. I think yeah. that's been our biggest learning thing <laughs> in 2021. Understanding that people like what they like. And yeah. just because we don't like that, or maybe we like something that they don't like, doesn't mean it's not good. It's what you like. Yeah. And just be confident and be... You know, just do you, basically, is what we're trying to say. That's probably anyway. like a high school yearbook. Well, it's just true. No. I feel like there's a lot of opinions about, you know, whether people like it or not. Even home decor, you yeah. know, not everyone has the same thing. But what's really cool, like one thing that I've learned recently with just educating myself more is home decor is so personal and it should reflect your personality. It should yeah. reflect who you are. That's just like a few examples, but. And it changes and it morphs changes. and just because yeah. you like something now, a lot of times we look back in 10 years and be like, wait, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, so, yes, for sure. What else can we catch up on? Our little Ford came to visit us and we took off, what, five days, four days with him? Um, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Our little nephew, we are head over heels. It was so cute because we'd come out in the morning and he'd be sitting on the couch and he would just pop his head up and he was so happy in the morning. He'd just smile. I think I have a little clip of you and him, which is so cute. I know, he's so cute. cute. I, don't know. I just die. He gives us a little bit of baby fever, but also kind of like fills us up at yeah. the same time. Like we're kind of like, oh, we want a baby, but then also like, Actually, we're good. We're yeah. good. And he's teething right now, so poor baby is just like, like, just I know. his little mouth is hurting. But. <laughs> Are you tired? You got this back in? <laughs> You're so cute. They came, and then my sister and her husband came, and then some other more families come on Thursday. So yeah, we're trying to get a couple things done. Yeah, and we're like in this tiny little apartment, so we're really, really ready for that house and that next step. I was telling Zach this, but this is like a little heart to heart. But I was like, you know, it's it's hard because I'm so incredibly thankful for our apartment. It's yeah. It's a beautiful place to live, but sometimes I feel a little limited. Like there's so much I want to share with you guys and do on the channel. And I, like, I just want to be able to like decorate and I feel so limited at times, but we're definitely moving forward. We we're getting there, but yeah, I think lately it's been a little hard for me to make content. We're ready for a house. Well, yeah. I don't know if people know we, we did own a house in Oregon Yeah. and we sold it to move here and with the intention of buying a house. Yes. But then we didn't know if we wanted to live here or we where wanted, we wanted to yeah. stay. So we owned our house. We actually built it in Oregon and we owned it for five years. Five years? Yeah. Sold it in 2012. Yes. No, no. Not 12. It, oh, it, we built it in 2012. Oh, yeah. We moved here in 17. But moving here, we were going to buy a house right away, but it was like, we don't know where we want to be, where we want to yeah. stay. And then we found this apartment and it was brand new. Mm -hmm. And just the community and our friend, we met a bunch of friends here. And then the market like took off. I think we moved here right before like it yeah. went crazy. Yes. We and did. then we kind of are like, well, I don't want to like way overpay. Yep. But now with the interest rates and stuff, I know this is probably uh, this technical. Is, yeah. yeah. No, well, but it's. We owned a house and came here, yeah. and a lot of it, like, we grew in this apartment. Yeah. But our intention was to buy a house, and we kind of, we should have, but you can always look back. Yeah, should have, could have, would have, you know, you... But a lot of times we get frustrated here, knowing, like, oh, we could have a house in this. But yeah. at the same time, we learned a lot, and it was fun living here. Yeah, oh my gosh, we had the best time living here, and I think that's a part of the reason 
why we stayed for so long. Yeah. But not only that, we moved here, we really did, we were like, we don't really know. It was our first big move we've ever made. So yes, maybe we should have bought a house right away, but we didn't. But also then when COVID hit, I completely lost my entire career with losing all those weddings. Well, at least it delayed till the next year. But basically, long story short, we're getting there. Hey, I just got done getting my nails done. Okay, I've talked about this before. I absolutely hate going and getting my nails done. I don't know what it is, like my nails, hair, even facials. I feel like it's really hard for me to go do that because I just am thinking about what else I can be doing in that time, like, you know, different things. So it's hard for me to just kind of, you know, relax and go do it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys when I get home, but you know the uh, little stand that the TV's on that Zach made me? I'm thinking about putting a back on it so I can do some more shelf styling right there. So I think I'm gonna go to the hardware store and get a piece of wood to just screw on the back, and then when we move in the house, if I wanna take the back off of it, I can, but I'm just gonna paint it the same color and I think that's gonna be a huge difference. I bought the little like cord, they're like these little things that stick to the wall that you can like put your cords in. I bought those, but the they're not like adhering. And honestly, I think that shelf is gonna look a lot better with a back. And as I was telling you guys, I am really big about decorating the space that you're in, but also that's such a big piece that unless I find something I cannot live without, I'm okay with living with that one for now until we get into the house because I just think, you know, I do stand by what I said, but then sometimes you have to really think about it. Like, okay, does this really make sense? Should I really do this? And I just think right now, that's the best choice. Okay. What's up, party people? <laughs> just joking. I didn't he knew I was starting the camera. This is the area I was talking about that needs some serious help. It's pretty much corralled all of my home decor books. I kind of neglected this area and it's just become kind of a catch-all for all my home decor. Okay, we just got home from the hardware store and we had a little bit of a dilemma. But first, I wanna show you guys this cute little plant that I found at Lowe's. Look at how sweet that is. Check out your Lowe's. It came in the pot and everything. Super cute. I think it was like 16 bucks, which I feel like was like a little pricey. I feel like I would wanna pay like $11 for it, but that's fine. Had to have it, it was super cute. So we got to the hardware store. I got the paint, I got the black mocha, matte finish, the whole thing. But then we, they had like super big plywood, which plywood's so pricey. I was not expecting that. So they had either super big or like little ones. Well then I was like, well, I don't want to seem to like go down the middle. So we thought, okay, let's do the seam like on this middle one and we'll just get like two pieces. So we had to come back and measure. What is it about hardware stores? I feel like you can never go to a hardware store without coming back like a couple times. Oh no, totally. It's always a thing. No, totally. Don't you remember back when we owned our house in Oregon? We, if yeah, we were working... I go back, we do a, a simple project and I go four <laughs> times. I know. It's so, and you'll have a whole list. You'll think, okay, I have everything yeah. I need. I'm good to go. You go to the hardware store, you start working on the project. You're like, crap, I don't have this or I don't have that. No, I know. It's, exactly. yeah. Anyway, okay, you ready? You gotta go back down. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay, hopefully, we got it right this time. So we're doing two, the, how many? One, two, three, three times to the places. Okay, so the idea is to put this on the back so it covers up so we can hide the cords because they're driving me crazy. And then I'm gonna do some styling with you guys and kind of share some styling stuff. Okay, wait, so this one's gonna have to go up. There we go. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna paint them on one side and then when we put it on the back, if I have any paint left over, I will paint it the other side. But this paint color is that dark, dark, dark brown, almost black, my favorite color. It's so <laughs> beautiful. And was really inspired by this hotel that Zach and I stayed at in Portland. It had like really old, like old world feel to it. And I just feel like this was a paint that they used back then, but it's black mocha. No, I think it's black mocha. Let me look. It is called, let's get a shot of it so you guys can 
yeah, Black Mocha by Bear, and I get it in the flat matte for this project. But it's almost the same exact color as the desk that I just painted. That one was repurposed by Magnolia. They're seriously almost identical. So I'm gonna paint these. I actually like got a drop cloth and everything, and I decided I'm just gonna do it right here. Oh, and what's really cool, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but if you don't have a table saw, the hardware stores will cut your wood for you. So you just buy it and you go back there and tell them your measurements. Some of it though, you gotta be careful. You gotta ask them because sometimes they can't cut long ways, right babe? Like length. Yeah, usually length though, sometimes they can't do the length of it. Yeah, because it might split. Or wait. Well, no, they could always. Cut this way. Yeah. So that would they be. They can't. Yeah, they can't yeah, cut the length of it. But yeah. this they could. So we just bought, honestly, we bought the cheapest. Well, once you paint it and put it on the back, you're not going to see it. Or, yeah. And it's a, it's almost like, you know, like some of that just has that flimsy stuff on the back. In yeah, way. Like, like when you go to Ikea or whatever. But we just figured, you know what? We don't even know if this is going to stay on it because that's not actually meant to be. Like we turned it into our, um, what's it called? Like table, uh, TV stand. But it wasn't a TV stand in our past home and it won't be in the future because we'll either hang it up or you know, whatever. But I just wanted to, for the time being, close it off, hide the cords. Why I'm just now doing this, I don't know. Isn't that always how it is? You like do it way later. But I figured, you know what? Uh, well, so I thought this would be a cheap project. It actually wasn't. When it was all said and done, we spent like, I don't know, close to 50 bucks. And I was like... It was 24... And then how much were the screws? It was like 40 bucks. 40 bucks. With the screws, the paint, the wood. Yeah, it wasn't that so cheap. It was like 40 bucks. You can also sometimes, I know it's not. But no, it's, it's yeah, it I is mean, what it is. It will make me feel better and I'll feel inspired to decorate that yeah. instead of just throwing stuff on there. The other thing about the hardware stores is you can actually go through, they have like a scrap section. So go there first because they might have like the perfect piece for you yeah. and it's way <laughs> less. But I checked out the scrap section and they didn't have what we needed. So we had to go this route. So I'm gonna slap some paint on her and I'm gonna make it cute. <laughs> what are you smiling at? You're just cute. You and your projects, I just, you're so talented. Oh my gosh, whatever. And I'm over here like, should I make her an espresso martini? That's what I was gonna ask you. How did you know? You ready for an espresso martini yet, or is it still too early? We can make one. It's not like we have to. Because then I can back. sip on it while yeah. I do my project. Excuse me, sir. Can I order an espresso martini yes. with Bailey's? <laughs> Two things. I know espresso martinis are a lot more popular now. You love them. I love them. I saw something online. It was so funny. We never drank, I never drank Four Locos. I think that was like right at our. I don't know what Four Locos is. What is that? Like the, the alcohol that has the caffeine in it. Oh. A Four I've never Loco even heard of it. In a can. You know what a Four Locos no, is. No, I really am not I think serious. I've had one before, but I think right when we were, right before we were 21, like I think right at the end of high school is when it really got popular. And then it got banned or whatever, because it is dangerous, you know, alcohol and caffeine. But they say uh, all these people our age, or maybe a couple years older, they espresso martinis are getting really popular because they're basically for locos, but for an adult. Oh, that's funny. Because you get the caffeine in. I think no. that was stupid. Okay. Because you didn't even know what a four loco was. Well, it's kind no, of that's fun. fine. No, I'm sure a lot of people do though. Oh, but I don't. I don't know. You, I know, I you guys. I don't know jack crap about anything. Like I. Do you? You're so smart. <laughs> no. Usually I'm like I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, we're doing an espresso martini. Mm -hmm. This is what you need for our recipe. I'm sure you could change things or do things. Modify, we already changed yeah. something in this, and I'll tell you. But and, and we sure will have a bunch it listed. of different variations. There's more simple ways. There's more technique. Okay, we have Bailey's. I'm not a professional, so don't. One ounce of Bailey's. You already got your ice in there? No, I'm going to put the ice in here. Oh, okay. Cold brew coffee concentrate. A uh, half ounce of this 
coffee liqueur. One, oh, here. Simple syrup. We made the other day. By Someone's the way, someone asked why it's brown. We use cane sugar and- It's just Trader Joe's cane sugar and water, so yeah, it, I think it's just more, it's not like the refined white sugar. Yeah. So you're not gonna do the- um, Do you think we do a little bit of simple syrup or just do it as is? I think- Let's we'll just sweet. try it. I think it will be as sweet enough. A little, a shot or an ounce of espresso. I know you could use like just cold brew or something from the store, but we just brewed a shot of espresso. One ounce of a, it's so hard to say sometimes, espresso? Espresso. espresso. There's no X. I, I say that wrong. Okay, what's funny about that is I can't pronounce anything, so I have a whole lot of room to talk because... There's, everyone has those few words that's like, it's really, I, I want to say espresso still. Yeah, and but some sometimes people, I feel like it's cute because yeah. it's like people's personality, you yeah. know? Like, we all I love have it. those words that yeah. we just yeah. pronounce a little differently. That's okay. Yep. And then, mo typically it's vodka, and some people say gin, but typically vodka. Someone said tequila online. Fire. So we used it and it was so good. Oh, it's so good. This one specifically. We talked about We I don't know if we'll, it'll make it in. Oh, okay. But we talked about this one. This one's from Costco. One ounce of tequila or vodka. I think most people are going to prefer vodka. One ounce of that. I, I read some reviews afterwards online. It It's decent, but it's like a quality for the price. It's yeah. not gonna be like a high-end one, but for me that doesn't really know. I've tasted bad stuff. Yeah. But this tastes good, and for the price, it's like a killer deal. Looking for a sale. <laughs> He's the king of sales. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. And you, you're you really good at like price per ounce. Like he'll like- I do look at that. Yes, he does, okay. If you are a tequila lover, try this with tequila. If you don't like the flavor of tequila, I think go with vodka because vodka you can't really taste yeah. the alcohol. Another thing, what we why just love this? Tequila too. Yeah, we just really love tequila, but this pairs really well with the espresso martini because it has a vanilla y yeah. undertone to it. And I think there is some sweetness in here, which maybe like purist is not the best thing ever. Yeah. So that's why it only asks for like a teaspoon of this, a half a teaspoon. You so can probably I probably not even use that. We should try it without. We haven't yet. Though. Okay, well, you're going to try it without. Yeah. I'm sure with the sweetness of this and these, you probably don't even need this. Yeah. I just ordered four more of these. They're actually in, in a box right next to me. These are the cutest. I'll link these down below as well. I love these and they work for like any type of martini, coupe, you name it. I love it. them for the, what's the one drink we do? Oh, the pineapple smoke. We the have that. Smoke. It's on my um, Instagram, but I think... I think we've shared it before. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, yes. Look at that foam. This is my kind of drink. You want to put a couple of these in? Yeah. Here, you do that part. Oh, me? Okay. They say to do three coffee beans. I always try to do, for aesthetic reasons only, the, um, I don't know, what's, what would you call that side? Like the, the seam? Split, the seam the, side up. The seam side up. I think it's really cute. There we go. All right, you gotta take a drink of it. Okay, I'll let you know because this is my kind of drink. I feel like, I don't know, espresso drinks, like when you order them out, you just feel like, you know. It's hard to, it's, the color kind of yeah. is. I think it's okay without the sweet. Do you think the little bit of sweetness, you need Maybe. it? If you do, you I do. I don't need it, but I like it a little more. <laughs> so it's not that sweet. It's not like, it actually is kind of sweet. You know, it's kind of like. I don't even know. It just is more Bailey-y. Like you can, I, get, I think you get the Bailey a little more, you know? Mm. Well, I could re, uh, we can make a, you want me to add a little bit to it? No. You know, sometimes it takes me a couple sips. Sometimes the first sip, I'm not sure if I like something. And then I'll keep taking the sips and then I'm like, actually, I changed my mind, I like it. And I actually don't think it needs the sweetener. But I think if you're, tr if you like sweet drinks and you're trying this for the first time, definitely 
put the sweet. Yeah. Because, especially if you like sweet drinks, because I feel like, and you gotta love coffee, obviously. This is very coffee. Another thing too, is you can do um, cocoa powder as the topping. Or you can even shave some chocolate in here. Oh, yeah. Make it like a mocha-y type of chocolate, chocolate espresso martini. This is really a good dessert drink. Anyway, we're sorry we forgot to update you guys in the last video. We just, you know, it was Valentine's Day. So we ate our dinner and we hung out and time got away from us. <laughs> But, and I don't think we made any more. We actually switched to wine. I think we only had that one. Yeah, for some reason we had wine with dinner because it was kind of, it's it more like of a awesome. sipping drink. It's like, you're not going to drink that with dinner usually. Yeah. So it, we had wine and then we just never went back. Yeah. I think what would be really cool, you know what would be really cool is when you have guests over and you're like having a certain drink or you have them over for dinner, like having an espresso martini or like a chocolate martini for dessert, I think yeah. would be a really cool like little switch up. Instead of like dessert, switch to something like this. I think it's cool. Anyway, let us know if you guys try it. Also, what drinks should we try out? Because we were just thinking we wanna like get back to like trying new drinks and stuff like that. So let us know, leave us your favorite drink in the comments below. <music> All right, I have these all painted. I just used the roller. I think it's gonna look rather good. I'm excited. I like the finish. It looks good. It's still kind of drying. To show you guys again what it looks like over here. Like I said, it's kind of become a little bit of a catch-all. It's just kind of gathered all of our stuff. There's nothing on the shelves that like needs a hole so we don't have to worry about cutting holes for cords to plug them in. It's all decorative on the shelves. Like. We have things down there and the TV and all the stuff up here. So the cords fall back or they go up. I think it's gonna be such a game changer with the back on it. And I can't wait to like make this space feel a little more inspiring. <laughs> Yes, that's gonna look so much better without the dang cords. Oh yeah. That's gonna be nice. I don't know, I like it. I like it. It looks way better. Oh yeah, this like gives you a better little glimpse of it. That looks really good. Good morning, everyone. Okay, last night I kinda threw the towel in. I was done for the night because I was so tired. But today, what I'm gonna do, first of all, look at how much better this is with the backing. I just can't believe I took this long to do it. I did have the idea for a long time, but I just put it off and put it off. <laughs> 